Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. Today we're going to start a new document in Google Drawings. So we're going to click New. We're going to click More and Google Drawings. And on our Google Drawing document, the first thing we'll do is double click on Untitled Drawing. Today we are going to make an eye color wheel underscore and write your full names. This um, automatically saves our document and our document automatically saves while we work on it and we can find it in our Google Drive. So with our document, we're going to start by making the eye and the way we're going to do this is by clicking on this drop down arrow and we are going to start with a curve line. Every click I make will move my line and make a curve and I need to have my first click and my last click end together. So click, 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 click. So what I've just made is an eye shape. It's like the shape of a lemon. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to do a couple of things right now before I do anything else. First, I'm going to click on this bucket and click fill color and make that transparent. I don't want this eye, the base of the eye to have any color. Next, I'm going to click on this pencil tool. That's our border color. It's already black, but if for some reason yours isn't, you'll click on it and click black. And then I'm going to click on this, um, these three lines together. That's our border weight. I will click on that. And right now it's on one. I'm going to make it on eight. So it makes a thicker line for us. Now, lastly, I will click on this black arrow. This is our selection tool. And when I select, and I can just click on it if it didn't automatically come up, I see this rectangle that surrounds the object that I just drew. Anytime I go over one of these boxes, it will give me a different arrow. So right now I've just got a normal select arrow. Anytime I slowly go over a box, it's going to give me that arrow. What that arrow means is that I'm going to be able to resize my object. So I'm going to go to a corner anchor box is what they're called. And I'm going to left click and drag and I'm holding down my left click. And I just made my shape a little bit bigger. When I see these four arrows that look like a compass, I can move my shape kind of right into the middle, center it a little better, and then I click off to the side so I can see what I've done. So this looks good to me. I'm going to add a circle for the center of our eye, for our pupil. So I will click on shape, go to shapes, and then I'm going to click on a circle. So I'm going to left click and drag i'm holding down my click and i'm going to make it about as big as i can get it but we both know or we all know that that's not a very good pupil right so i need to again i moved it a little and i need to go to my anchor box and hover my mouse slowly until i see that arrow and just kind of drag it a little bit bigger i'm going to go down here and do the same thing there we go. So that looks like a great pupil to me. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the fill color, click it, and click transparent. I'm going to go to the border color and make sure it's black. I'm going to go to the border weight and take it from one to eight. And now I've got an eye happening. So I'm going to turn this circle into a six color color wheel. So we're learning a lot of tools here. So if you get confused or if I'm going too fast, you can absolutely stop or rewind this video and rewatch it until you feel like you understand it well enough to do this yourself. So I've got my circle. I'm going to go back to this arrow and click on it. it shows me my drop down menu. I'm going to click on line. When I bring my line tool around my circle, you saw those purple circles that showed up around the circle. Um, I'm going to click on one and I'm going to, this is the line tool that I got. I'm going to go over to the dot on the line till I see that cursor. And I'm going to left click and drag. So I'm holding down my left click until it gets to the bottom circle. So I've got one straight line. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing to get all of my circles here. So I'm going to go to the one right to the right of where I started, click. Now I need to change the direction of my line. So I'm left clicking and dragging. And I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm going to click. And I don't have to change direction on this one. I'm going to drag it right down. Okay, so now I've got six sections on my color wheel. Okay, so I've got all my shapes drawn. Um, I can see the start of my color wheel, but I have to change this a little bit because now I've got these lines that are my guiding lines, but if I try and click on them, I don't, I can't click on these triangular shapes. So I'm actually going to have to trace over these lines. So what I'm going to do is click that drop down arrow, go to my polyline tool, and every click I make will change the direction. So click, 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 click. It does not, it's not perfect, but it's exactly what I need. So now I'm going to change the color. So I'm gonna to go to the fill tool and I'm gonna change that to red. Red is the first color on my color wheel. So now I'm gonna go back to my polyline tool and I'm going to do the same thing. Click, 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 click. Remember my first and my last click are the same. They end up in the same place so I can make an enclosed shape. This shape is red, but I'm going to change it to orange. And now I'm gonna go back to my polyline tool. Click, 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 click. And now I'm going to go back to my fill tool, click on that and choose yellow. I'm gonna go back to my polyline tool, click, 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 click. Uh, my next color in my color wheel is going to be green. And two more times I've got. So my polyline tool, click, 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 and I have a little bit of, of a gap there. I can fix that later. So I'll click my fill color, change it to blue, and I'm going to do this one more time. Click, 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 and click. I'm going to use my last color of the color wheel, which is purple. So I've got my color wheel here, and I'm going to do a couple things. I need to rearrange the sizes on these. So that way my um, color wheel um, doesn't have any gaps. So I'm gonna get my selection tool. First I will click on that outside circle. I don't need it anymore so I can click delete. If I accidentally delete something I don't want to delete, I can always click and do my undo tool. But I did want that deleted so I'll delete it. I'll click on my blue shape. Remember these corner boxes change the sizes of our shapes. So I'm actually going to drag it just a little bit bigger so that it covers that gap and I don't have any empty spaces. Now I can move it a little bit. So now I've got my color wheel. I'll make the green just a little bit bigger. So now I've got my color wheel and no empty spaces. I might wanna drag this just a little bit longer to make it all a little bit bigger so it takes up a little bit more space. Don't want it to go too far outside my eye though, so I'll be careful. Now I've got another little gap so I can fix those just by doing that, changing our size just a little bit. Okay. Now I can make my purple a little larger. And now just so my eye color wheel is extra fun. Once I've got the hard work of getting the color wheel out and changing my sizes and making those perfect, what I can do then is go in and start adding eyelashes. And the way that I can add those eyelashes is to click this drop down 
um, and I could use my scribble tool and I can go in and I can make a line for some crazy eyelashes. The way I can make those eyelashes thicker is to click that line weight, click eight. So I've got some crazy eyelashes and I'm just scribbling. So I'm left clicking and making a wavy line, left clicking and making lines. So those lines are now becoming my eyelashes and my eye color wheel is now complete. So have fun making your eye color wheel.